the Muslim world is under oppression and attack across the entire world. Let's start with the United States. This is the military superpower of the world, with bases in over two-thirds of the nations, and several ongoing wars. The false flag attack of 9-11 allowed for the powers that be to create a war on terror, or a war primarily against Islamic self-rule. In Europe there is increasing tension between the Muslim minorities in their countries, and the tendency for governments to use Muslims as a scapegoat for their own destruction of the economies by selling out their nations to the international bankers. Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt all had recent mass revolutions. In Libya the West destroyed the nation under the guise of a no-fly zone, and has left it to heavily armed and divided tribal powers. Egypt is still under military rule. Somalia has been through several wars recently, including attacks from Ethiopia, Kenya, and drone attacks by the US. Sudan was recently divided into two. Yemen is in basically a civil war, with tribal rebellion and militants fighting against the government. The US is constantly bombing the country. Palestine has been under Israeli occupation for decades, with no end in sight. Syria is in a full-fledged civil war, funded by outside powers. Iraq was destroyed with over a million people killed. The conflict there is far from over. Iran is surrounded by US bases, and Israel seems bent on attacking it. If it does this will mean World War III, as China, Russia, and Pakistan will take sides with Iran. The Caucasus region is a hotbed of militancy, a result of the wars against Chechen independence. Afghanistan is under occupation, and with no end in sight despite alleged withdrawal timetables which are always pushed back. This conflict spills over into Pakistan, with the US killing countless people and drone attacks in there. Muslim Kashmir is partially occupied by India, who brutally crack down on any non-violent resistance. The Buddhists in Burma are giving Buddhism a real bad name by slaughtering tens of thousands of the Muslims there, including executions such as burning people alive. Their government just stands by, and in fact promotes the genocide of these Muslims. Bangladesh won't even allow them to flee there, even though that's where they mainly originate from. There are militants in the south of Thailand, sick of oppression, who want to separate and have their region become part of Malaysia. In China, the Muslims of the Northwest are under heavy oppression by the Chinese government. They are hardly allowed to practice their religion. Any movements for freedom or basic rights are harshly dealt with. In the Philippines, the Muslims of Mindanao are struggling for self-determination and autonomy, and the military there has actively been suppressing them. So as you can see, the Muslim world is heavily divided into numerous conflicts, primarily fighting for independence from domestic oppressors or foreign invaders. The non-Muslim nations of the world have little issue attacking Muslim nations or their own Muslim populations because the Muslim world has little unity. The only solution for both Muslims and non-Muslims is for the Muslims to form a union, a new caliphate. This will unify the Muslim world, form a new superpower to stand up against oppression, and usher in a golden age of advancement and prosperity like it did in the early part of Islamic history. While the Europeans seem to stagnate under religious government, the Muslims prospered under it. They laid the foundation for the modern technologies we have today. The world is changing. Communism and capitalism morphed together into a careless form of totalitarian plutocracy. The super wealthy control the masses, exploiting them, enslaving them as debt slaves. The morality of the peoples has collapsed, resulting in enormous social problems. Only a system which focuses on the spiritual aspect of people, judges development in terms of individual happiness, and actually takes care of the citizens' health, education, and human rights, will be able to ensure peace and prosperity in this new century. Communism as a system is dead. Secular democracy also known as capitalism is destroying the world. If we wish to avoid World War III and the planetary collapse that would follow, the only solution is for Muslims to unite and work together. The entire world would benefit from a new Muslim union and all the advancements in technology, politics, and sociology that come with a truly Islamic system.
ونصر الله في الهيجا يقيني